as the Bay Area celebrates Pride Month, we're seeing some unnerving reminders of why the LGBTQ community has had to fight so hard just to get here. KPX 5's Betty Yu on the sudden string of threats prompting concern ahead of the long-awaited return of the San Francisco Pride Parade. Betty. That's right, Ryan. Both locally and nationally, over the past few days, we've seen a number of high-profile incidents targeting members of the LGBTQ community. Police are on high alert as Pride activities ramp up here in San Francisco. <laughs> LGBTQ supporters rallied in front of the San Lorenzo Library Monday, two days after a group of men likely associated with the Proud Boys disrupted a drag queen storytelling event, shouting homophobic slurs. Also over the weekend, more than 30 members of a white nationalist group were arrested for allegedly planning to violently disrupt a Pride event in Idaho. In San Francisco, State Senator Scott Weiner vowed to continue to fight for the LGBTQ community after his staff received a hate-filled email with a subject stating he will die today. The threat read, we placed bombs in his office and his house. We will kill you. This escalating rhetoric by politicians, by right-wing activists, it, it, it has a consequence. Words have consequences. And so we're now seeing uh, I mean, uh, the, I, I get death threats all the time, and they've been escalating. No bombs were found at his home or office, but Weiner, a gay politician, says he's been targeted for years for his work on behalf of LGBTQ people and people with HIV. It, it's politics that's actually putting real human beings at risk. Uh, and, and it's just tragic. The latest incidents come as San Francisco celebrates Pride Month and two weeks before the first Pride Parade since 2019. We have always taken the safety of the community very seriously, especially after as we're marking six years since the Pulse tragedy where we lost so many lives. And, you know, even before Pulse and especially since Pulse, we've always taken that safety very seriously and been very vigilant when it comes to the safety of our community. So, Betty, are there plans to increase security at San Francisco's Pride Parade or any other Pride events? Well, San Francisco Pride told us that it's working very closely with law enforcement, but not necessarily adding more security because they feel they are fully prepared. Now, the Alameda County Sheriff said that it is set to meet Thursday with the Governor's Office of Emergency Services and Congressman Swalwell's office regarding safeguarding Pride events there and the community in general. Ryan. All right. Thanks, Betty. You reporting live in the newsroom.